Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Serial Experiments Lane episode number 12. Alright, the previous episode. Um, the first half of the previous episode was mm, random images. You know, random images coming out. Uh, like we were being shown in the screen. All these, all the stuff that we kind of saw all these past 11 episodes. Uh, not 11, 10 episodes. We're kind of being shown in the beginning which uh there were a little few little uh new scenes as well like the whole um scene of lane going back home with uh that girl i forgot her name the girl who killed herself in the first episode uh, that girl a few little little like you know additional scenes that was here and there and we got to know that that was actually lane uh you know because of lane uh installing uh like you know the navi in her brain and the whole it was like kind of putting all the information in her brain all that stuff and then he she went and meet met arisu and she told her that she'll revert everything back undo everything back to normal no more rumors nothing you know so that arisu can go back to school like a normal person and that's what she did she made everything un, like you know undid everything and only Aisu realizes that fact. No one else really remembers all the rumors and stuff, and they don't even notice anything. So Aisu and Lane, both of them, only know what happened, and like the whole thing, the undoing process. Lane and Aisu knows about it only. And Lane is back to school again. So let's see what she does in this episode. This is almost we're almost at the end. So let's see if we can get a few more information to actually understand. Uh, like you know more stuff about what is happening because there's still a few things which are kind of i'm unable to understand but let's just wait for it let's wait for the last two episodes i'm sure we'll be like you know given some kind of hint as to what is like you know some, some more information about what's happening so let's get started this is episode number 12 of serial experiments lane so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Alright, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Alright. Excuse me. Okay, what more can Lane even do? Let's think about it. Like, I don't know. Like, what else can she do now? Like, like, like the weird thing about not weird thing. It's kind of normal in this show, I guess. Is that this is not even a goal. Like, what's the end goal? We don't know. Like yeah like th there's no goal so i'm kind of wondering how this is going to end like what's going to happen now like what can even lane do at this point yeah let's see i'm guessing she'll probably stop the whole merging of the real world with a wired i don't know maybe maybe she'll try to stop it who knows let's see What? Okay, wait, who's talking with her? Landscape? 
I think this is the first time we actually hear Lane in the intro. We never heard her before in the intro, did we? Okay, Iris is being bothered. We know that, obviously. Damn. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't stare like that. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what the? Oh, message. I'm always watching you or <laughs> something. <laughs> you should just rewrite back. Oh god. Rewrite. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's so easy to rewrite. Okay. Within the memory. Oh, wait, what? Inside also. Whoa, really? Interesting. She's saying that it was not her that was multiple. It was not no multiple lane. It was just. Um. Oh, great. Okay. Well. Okay, so according to Lane, all the different lanes are actually lanes in different people's memory. The way they look at Lane, it kind of... Oh, I don't know. Love seamless sharing of information between. Ah, huh, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm, now nah, let's. Okay. We'll function something. Hmm. Restrict mankind's evolution. Doesn't even exist. What is individual? Oh! Information has accumulated. Mankind evolved by their own power. Ah, what they truly are. We think that's, uh... Okay, um... Oh boy, this show is so confusing. Not confusing, but vague in a way. It's not confusing. That's, that's the wrong word to use. It's very vague. You, you just have to... <laughs> oh boy.
client wasn't the only one. Eighty mask. Wait, who's that? Who's Eddie? Did, did did we get? Did we, do we know her? Oh, him. Guys, that Eddie Masa. Oh, is he talking about that god? The the guy, the god guy. I don't know. Okay. There's no license plate. What the? What? Who? Who are these people? Oh, they're them. Okay, I thought it was someone else. Okay, who is this guy? Oh, that guy. Oh, okay. Leaf down. <laughs> well, maybe some high mountain or something. <laughs> I don't know. By connecting the wire to the real world without any devices. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, great. No, unfortunately. Oh boy. Well, they just got fired, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, what's happening? Um, oh no, is something happening from the wire? I think so. Open the thing, like... Oh no, he's also get... No, wait. Okay, yeah, that's what... Oh my god! Yeah, you better get out of here! Is this a sudden influx of information? The thing that was happening to Lane before, you know, because she was connected? Maybe, I don't know. Oh boy, so they're dead now, I guess. Either dead or they're completely crazy now. Oh, she's at Lane's house. Ah, <sighs> boy. Whoa, what was that sound? Oh my god, whoa, 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 what's happening here? What is that, paint? Yeah, it's paint. Okay, th there's a slippers.
Oh no, what's inside? Okay. Ah. Whoa. Oh my god, I'm recording this at 1 a.m. It's currently I'm <laughs> Oh god. Uh, I don't think you should get Oh my god Ah, whoa uh, Wait uh. Oh no! Okay, there she is. <laughs> She's buried in the. Watching. Everything. Yeah, I guess everything. Yeah, you're not crazy. The world is crazy. That's why did you leave only me? Yeah. Ah, well, otherwise, uh, I don't know. No, it's actually the reverse. I, I, I think she probably wanted her to only know that. Uh... Yeah, but her mental. Mm. without connecting with Where originally connected at some conscious level. I was in both. Oh wow. Damn, this is deep, this show. Kind of. It really is if you think about it properly, like you know, the things that Yeah. 
<laughs> oh my god, what the? Um, who invited you here? Mm, no. Oh, great. Yeah, it's a bug. Yeah. Nah. Whoa, she can see it. Yeah. Remove devices from the wired. Component. Oh. Right to greater ability. Collective energy. Oh, okay. Wait, that means he also has someone ab above. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He also has someone on top of him, which is, so he's not the God. Yeah, who gave you form? Um... Whoa! What the hell? He, he's taking human form or something? Why isn't an upper there? Before the wire would... Oh, okay. Well, he'll be pissed. Um... Okay, I don't know what's happening, but something is happening. Oh my god, that's... Ah, <sighs> okay. That was creepy. Oh wow. Okay, so mm. so according to Lane, this god is not the god. Like yeah, she's correct in a way, you know. Like as she says, that so like you know before the wire, where was he? You know. Like then, who was in charge before the wire even came into being? That means someone is on top of him. You know, so yeah, he's not the god, <laughs> and he freaked out. Like, <laughs> you 
Like, I remember him actually in one of the previous episodes saying something like, like, I think Lena called him God and he said something like, uh, said something like, nah, you're not actually correct. But if you, uh, you know, by the definition of God, if you mean someone who is present everywhere, then you're right. I'm the God. Like, but now we can see that he is pretty obsessed with the, not obsessed, but he, he believes that he is the God. And when Lane suddenly brings up a point which are like you know, which is kind of shows that he probably is not the actual god, he's just a stand-in for somebody. He's he's getting rattled now. He, he yeah, he's 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 not accepting that. I don't know. Something like that, you know. Okay. Okay, that's the end. Again, like, you know, there are... As I said, like, this show is very vague. You basically have to kind of make meaning of the different scenes. And you kind of have to understand it by yourself. Make your own interpretation of it. And... Okay, so... One thing that's kind of interesting here... Is the thing who says that? Just a sec. Uh, something like where is it? Okay, here it is. Lane, when Lane kind of says this, people only have substance within the memories of others. People only have substance within the memories of others. Okay. Interesting way of interpret not interpreting, but interesting way of actually like you know defining someone's existence. Like Lane is saying that we exist as human beings, but it's not that we actually exist as a substance in other people's memories. Like, you know, like like me, I I'm I'm a, I'm kind of an entity on other people in other people's memories, the way they see me. For example, if I am, you know, probably kind to someone, you know, and the same me is probably cruel to someone. Like, let's take A, person A and person B. I'm very kind to person A, but I'm very cruel to person B. So the me inside person A is a kind person, a very good person. Whereas at the same time, me inside the person B is a very cruel person. So that's how Lane says that all the different lanes that we have been seeing are actually different ways people perceive me to be, you know? So that's how, like, it's not me that is multiple. It's actually the substance within the people's memories, which are multiple, which is a very interesting way of thinking, like, you know, of def defining this. I think I remember some i don't know i think there was some other anime show or visual novel where the same thing kind of came like you know where like they kind of explained that you your existence is actually within other people like the way people actually see you is different is different and that's how you are kind of like a different person if uh, like you know within different people I can't remember which show it was, but it was something like something like this was actually said, which which is something that I, I kind of still remember. And that's why this whole thing is kind of familiar to me. The thing that Lane is saying, because there was some other show which also defined this this whole thing in this way. OK, um, that's why there were all kinds of me's. There weren't a lot of me's. I was just inside all sorts of people. That's all. Like that's basically it. That's what Lane is saying. And yeah, like if you think about it in that way, it's kind of correct, you know, like we are actually the way people interpret us to be. So yeah, and I think in a way, uh, like me, like I as a person, the way I interpret myself to be, is actually my existence in 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 my eyes like, as i said in different people's eyes you are a different type of existence if you're kind to someone the person sees you as a very kind a very nice person 
Similarly, if you're very cruel to someone, that person probably sees you as a cruel person. So, like, you know, it's like, so that means like there's like 10 or 20 people who actually knows you. So in every person, you are a different someone. So who are you actually? I guess you can define yourself as someone how you see yourself to be. If you think that I am a very, like, you know, kind or a cruel person, if I see myself like that, that will probably be the real me. I don't know. I'm kind of like, you know, speaking <laughs> some, some vague stuff. But yeah, anyways. Uh, but okay. So that was a really interesting way they kind of said that. Explained that. Okay, and then just uh, Okay, another thing, the whole protocol seven that they're talking about. Um here is it. There is like a little news section. Uh, the news reporter says protocol 7 is expected to allow the seamless sharing of information uh, between the wired and the real world. Okay, so that's protocol 7. Okay, and All right Also, another thing which was really interesting here, which also, as I said, I kind of, I think I heard about it in some other visual novel, most probably visual novel, not anime. Like these type of things I usually <laughs> kind of, uh, you know, get to know about from visual novel, this type of weird stuff. This thing, like that the god is talking here. Um, okay. Here it is. The body is nothing but a machine, okay? If the physical limitations of the body restrict mankind's evolution, all right, it would be as if the fall of the species called man had already been decided by a god that doesn't even exist. Okay. Okay, this, this line, the information etched inside humans isn't only that which they themselves have acquired as individuals. The species called man is connected to his predecessors and information has accumulated within him now this this line here is very interesting line as i said i, th I think i've heard the same thing before in some other visual novel this line the information etched inside humans isn't that isn't only that which they themselves have acquired as individuals so they're saying that like we the the things that we have learned the uh, just a sec. The information isn't only that we know as individuals, but it's actually the combined information that the species called man, you know, has collectively as a species, connected to the predecessors as well. And information has also accumulated within us. So it's basically saying that. Obviously, we have different information. I have some other, like, you know, I, I might know about something more than someone else. For example, I might know about, um, you know, anime more, more than a person who probably knows something about sports. You know, I have no information about sports. I know nothing about that. So, like, for me, the information, the collective information of so many animes is only within me. Whereas my friend, for example, has a lot of collective information about sports. So they know a lot about sports. I know a lot about anime. We don't know, like, you know, I don't know about sports. He doesn't know anything about anime. That's different. That's not, they're, not what they're saying. They're saying the collective information that humans have gathered is all connected to us, you know, as a human species. Like, it's a very interesting thing. I think um, this, the same thing kind of came up in some other visual novel, which I was really, uh, I can't remember the name. It, it must be something... It, it, I think it is probably uh, one of the science adventure series, uh, probably Chaos Head or Chaos Child, something like that. I don't remember because I think Chaos Head and Chaos Child kind of like deals with these type of stuff. Or maybe it was something else. Uh, or maybe it was some other way, but I'm sure about it. It's some kind of visual novel. Anyways, the thing that I kind of remember is that they kind of said the same thing here where they said that different like you know like the information that people have is a collective information which someone all like you know even if we don't know we kind of know unconsciously um 
I don't know like I, I kind of like you know I don't know if this is related to it or something like there was this whole thing about um I don't know like what can I say uh like it's like some kind of an example I'm taking for example uh this is just my experience I don't know if this is something related to this or not it was, it was a really weird experience where there's this in my school you know like there's this whole thing of like when we were children like, you know uh we were i think i was like probably 11 or 12 years old or something you know in school we kind of came up with a game a weird type of a game you know which was like a, like you know a type of like a uh what can i say like we used to call it uh, hand cricket or hand football you know where we kind of used numbers and played a game like you know with our friends where we kind of made scores or you know made like you know, did goals and stuff only using our hands and we kind of kept like you know like we kind of played like that in in our classroom and stuff you know instead of actually going and playing cricket it was like an indoor game that we came up with and i thought that wow like yeah like this is something that we came up with weirdly enough i realized that it was a game that actually at that time everyone was playing not even in our school but different other schools as well you know like and weirdly enough it was actually the same time that everyone started this game i don't know if this is somehow connected to this or what but it was like a weird experience like something stuff like this also happened where i felt as if oh my god this is something really cool that i probably only do you guys have that feeling you know like you feel as if like oh this thing you know this is something probably i only did and then you realize that uh, when you hear from someone else that they also did the same thing when they were they were a child you're like my god you also did that i also did that i thought that it was something that i only did for example like you know there's like another weird thing uh you know like like little games that you play as a child uh for example i i used to do another thing you know uh for example i used to kind of think that Oh, like, for example, I was walking on the, on the road and I thought that, okay, like, uh, that intersection, I'll reach there within uh, the next 10 uh, seconds. If, I unable, if I'm unable to reach that, I'll die. Something like that. I used to, like, hurry, you know? Like, this is like a game that, like, I thought that it was only I that played it. And I thought, I probably thought that, yeah, I probably, would, probably won't, should not say something like this. But people will think me as a weird child. <laughs> and then I think recently some days like some years ago i actually got to know like you know that other people in that in their childhood like you know in their childhood also played the same game i was shocked i was like how the hell i thought that it was, it was a weird game that i came up with <laughs> this type of thing you know like a collective information i don't know if this is somehow connected to that or not or making stuff up but these type of things you know like it's like a collective information like you know gathered by all humans and it's just there subconsciously within us this thing i kind of went on a completely different topic but you know like that's like this this is like type of a weird thing that i felt and i really like relate to this whole thing that they're not relate but this whole thing that they're saying that the collective information accumulated within someone as a human species not as individuals this thing you know like it's it's really interesting if you think about it like that you know like you feel as if something that you used to do as a child you feel as if it was probably you that did it only but then you realize that now nah, everyone actually everyone else also probably also did that in that <laughs> in that at that age and you're get you're shocked you're shocked like what the hell how did how did how, like how did they have the same type of idea that i had so yeah anyways okay that was that and Okay, and then we get to the next scene where the men in black, uh, they're actually fired, I guess. <laughs> and the, the guy kind of, I guess, like, holds, like, gives him some money and says that, yeah, like, just run away from here. Something amazing is going to happen. Haha, <laughs> so fun. And just goes away. And he kind of tells them that go somewhere where there's, like, no telephone line or, or anything, you know. But it was a bit too late. The guy's... I don't know, probably got overheated, like, you know, overloaded by information or something. And, yeah, they, I don't know if they died or they just became unconscious or went crazy. Something like that happened. 
and then the next scene we see uh, Arisu coming to Lane's house and we can see that the sister is still there you know we can see that and Arisu gets in and he and Lane has a little bit of a conversation where Lane says that no, Aisu kind of says that, no, why did you leave my memories alone? Like, do you really hate me that much? But as I said, like, you know, it's actually the reverse because I think Lane actually wanted Aisu's forgiveness. That's why he just left her alone. And he wanted, you know, not to inter like, you know, manipulate uh, uh, Aisu because Aisu is, is the only person who she can genuinely call a friend, you know, like a genuine friend. So that's why it's actually the reverse because she really liked Arisu. She actually did not do anything to her. And yeah, okay. And here Lane says something like, uh, again, the same thing. Like, you know, she says that humans are unconsciously connected and at the original level. And she just reconnected them, you know, as she says. And like it's really interesting if you actually think about this whole anime and it's really deep in a way you know like the weird way it actually tells the story there's a lot of hidden meanings behind everything like you know that this show kind of shows us which probably someone who has a better grasp on these type of like you know I, i'm guessing these are like not philosophical i think or probably something like that you know kind of thing so people who has a more under better understanding of these type of topics and uh, you know these type of things with a better grasp on them they'll probably be able to dive deep into this and kind of bring up some hidden meanings and stuff you know unfortunately i'm not that you know no, not someone like that so i can kind of try to grasp something and kind of get a few stuff but i won't probably be able to dive deep into it you know, because there's a lot of things I feel as if they're trying to tell us something different, but I myself am unable to, is unable to actually grasp that. But I know that they are actually there is some hidden meanings in a lot of things that they're saying, and you know the whole thing of connected to you know each other and everything. Anyways, hmm. And Lane kind of says that uh, we don't need a physical body and all that stuff, but I says that no. Like, I don't really understand what you're saying. Yes, yeah, saying neither do I. But we kind of understand what she's trying to say, you know, even though we don't know the details that she's saying. But we can get the vibe from her. And she says that, uh, but I think you are wrong. Okay. Um, your body's cold, but you're alive, Lane. Yeah. Okay, and okay, and then they're, they're, they're having a conversation and suddenly God pops up from, or the self-proclaimed God pops up. And I, I like, Lane is asking Aisu like, so you're smiling, but why is it beating? So, like, you know, your heart is beating so much. And uh, are you scared? And then the God says that, Ha, ah, because she's afraid of losing her body. <laughs> Suddenly pops up out of nowhere. Okay, and he says all sensations are caused by impulses in the brain. You just need to block the unpleasant impulses. Select only the happy pleasant ones. I guess this is some, something like, like, you know, this whole thing that the god is actually trying to do. is again, something like the, if you guys have seen Naruto, the infinite Tsukiyomi by, you know, <laughs> That the whole thing of like everyone will be under uh you know genjitsu where there'll be like a happy place where everyone will be happy just block out all the bad stuff and you'll be forever dreaming but happy something like that you know yeah, that's what basically the god is saying like you don't need an actual body you can just be in the wired forever and be happy you know you don't need a physical body just throw away your physical body and just you know stay as that wired entity forever happy because physical body only causes you pain as they say so 
Yeah, and like Lane was also kind of saying that, but since I told her that no, you're wrong, you know, I don't understand what you're saying, but you're wrong basically, and you know, like, and then I guess Lane kind of changed her mind, and Lane, you know, kind of strikes strikes back at the god, self-proclaimed god. Okay. Okay, she says that what I don't understand is you, god. What you did was remove the devices from the wire, phones, televisions, and okay, this portion I really am unable to understand. Like, what devices are, is he talk? Is she talking about? Like, he, like he removed the devices from the wire. I don't understand this portion. Phones, television, the network. Without those, you couldn't have done anything oh okay uh yes these are the things which accompanied human evolution uh humans who are further evolved than others have a higher have a right to greater abilities and, <laughs> and she's like who gave you those rights and that's when the first conflict within the god's mind Stars. She says the program that inserted code synced to Earth. Characteristic frequency into protocol 7 code. Wait a minute. What? The program that inserted code synced to the Earth. Which would raise the collective unconsciousness, unconscious to the conscious level collective con raise the collective conscious unconscious to the conscious level oh the collective unconscious to the conscious level uh, i'm guessing the collective you know the collective like you know like uh, the information the collective information that they're talking about like everyone is connected that thing like it's going to bring that up i think i guess this this line is a bit confusing but i can kind of understand what she's saying you know in a weird way yeah, and she says, did you really come up, <laughs> come up with that idea yourself? And the god is like, wait a minute, did I really do that? <laughs> and she's like, he's like, what are you getting at? No, it can't be. Are you telling me that there really is a god? It doesn't matter. Without no body, you, you won't be able to understand. The wired isn't an upper layer of the real world. Okay, now there's one thing that I, I have a real, like, you know, this feeling about. as The, the line that Lane says kind of confirms that. Uh, she says the wired isn't an upper layer of the real world. What do you mean? Inside the wired you were God alright. Okay, like this thing, like you know, the wired and the real world. So basically I guess like in this anime, wired is like a place where I don't know where where it, it seems as if it's it's like a higher plane of existence, if you know what I mean, from the normal earth that we are living. Like you know, in, in normal like you know in, in the earth we are just living, but here the whole concept of wired is probably some kind of an upper uh, upper consciousness or upper uh, like you know uh, what, do you, what, what, what did i call it like an upper upper layer or something you know and higher plane of existence than the people living in earth and you know like that's why they say like you know like give up your body and become someone who is an entity in the wired you know uh, the whole the same thing of I guess enlightenment if you can like I'm, I'm kind of like, Connecting this to weird stuff. I know that but I feel as if this this whole thing like This wired and the real world is kind of like that somehow You know like the wired is like an upper plane of existence the earth is like the mortal plane where all of us mortals live and Like you know the uh, like you know and, and the, like the, this this whole thing of people saying that give up your body and become an entity in the wired that's a lot better 
and as if like you know the whole concept of like you know getting enlightenment and leaving your body leaving all the like you know uh, earthly attachments and just getting enlightened your soul gets enlightened and like you know leaves the earth into that higher place of existence this thing i think i guess you know and i guess like you know it's kind of like something like that the, the, this whole thing the wired and the mortal world i don't know again like this is another interpretation that i'm making which is kind of really as i said like you know you can really interpret this anime in a lot of ways the way you actually think about it it kind of becomes something like that because they really don't give us any explanation you're free to think whatever you can or whatever you want to this is the interpretation i came up with as you can see the god like you know like this, this whole thing of always this thing comes like where people say that like you know like a lot of section there's this whole thing of give up your real world body become um you know person in the wired so something like that so i'm guessing it's somehow weirdly you know if you can interpret in this way that the wired is like a higher existence a higher plane of existence okay and his she says that you're just an acting god standing for someone else i don't understand what happened how the hell did that god get like a human form and all the different objects in the room kind of like started you know clinging into him and he kind of got a hand and stuff i don't know what happened there but something probably happened but yeah i can kind of understand what's happening in a way in a weird way you know even though i don't have each and every explanation but i can kind of get get the vibe you know i kind of understand <laughs> yeah so that's it and the next episode is the final episode i guess which where we'll probably get the final explanation or whatever and yeah so in a way i can kind of understand what's happening in a weird way even though i don't have fully explanations if someone actually asks me some question about this anime i probably won't be able to explain them but i actually know what's happening if you know what i mean you know like it's it's as if like in subconscious level you can realize what's happening but if asked you probably won't be able to explain like that type of a thing <laughs> you know so yeah okay another thing this is something like you know i kind of realized a lot later than i should have actually realized is arisu you know her name is actually alice like i kind of realized that i think in the previous episode later on during editing or something you know they call her arisu but it's actually alice which is in a weird way kind of related to like you know like like you know like alice in wonderland alice and we also saw the i think uh the who did we see in one of the previous episode i think it was uh i don't know like that the, the, you remember uh the in one of the previous episode there was like a scene where lane was talking to someone in the wired and there was this weird mouth talking i think it was was it the tish shire cat or was it the mad hatter either i think it was the cat i don't know something like that which which is also connected to alice in wonderland so i'm guessing it, it is like this some you know, it's kind of this some stuff here which is connected or which has taken the names from alice in wonderland for example arisu is actually alice and yeah i don't know so this is something that i noticed you know i might be wrong though so yeah so just that's just this so that's this episode so this is episode number 12 of serial experiments lane so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode which will be the final episode of serial experiments lane so until then goodbye and have a nice day